in this video I want to show you how you can find how how you can uh, sketch uh, using your CAS calculator and also check your answer so let's uh, the question is this is from exercise 4d this is from exercise 4d this is question 5b so let me write the question the question is sketch sketch x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y minus 3 is equal to 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group the x's together, the y's together and this number I'm going to move it to the other side. I hope you understand why I'm doing that. It is to use the completing the square method. Okay, so so I can say well this is x squared plus 4x I'll leave some gap here plus y squared minus 6y is equal to 3. So yeah, if I want to complete square, so I hope you know this is half of this number which is plus 2 squared. So I've written 4 on this left hand side, so I have to write 4 on the right hand side. And I have to do the half of negative 6 which is negative 3 squared and that is 9 so I'm writing 9 on both sides so this becomes x minus sorry x plus 2 the whole squared plus y minus 3 the whole squared is equal to 16 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 9 is 16 which is 4 squared so writing in the center radius form so this is x minus minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 the whole squared is equal to 4 squared so I'm, I'll go sketching is very difficult so here I will show you this on the calculator so the center is minus 2 comma 3 and the radius is 4 so, uh, so let me show you uh, on the CAS calculator. Okay, so let's uh, enter the equation. So you go on the menu, uh, edit, and that's a relation. So this is question 5b. So this is x squared uh, plus y squared um, plus 4x. You can just type in the equation minus 6y minus 3 equal to 0 and then we can check it this doesn't look like a circle but it is a circle so yeah if you look at this this is the center this is minus 2 3 and then you can count my cursor is coming on the way so if you count this is 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and so these are the vertices okay so let me see whether I can show the vertices analyze this is a conic section and uh, the center so that is the center so press center so that's the center center is minus 2 comma 3 so again go menu analyze and analyze conics and uh, the vertices so you have to uh, so you have to click on the vertices the graph so let me see whether I can show the vertices so what does it say vertices on the click on the appropriate conics graph so yes and that's what I'm trying to do it's not showing okay so these are the four vertices which some reason doesn't show let's finish off with one more question again this is sketching so I'll do it quickly so this is x squared minus 8x now if you can do it yourself try to do it yourself plus y squared plus 22y 
is equal to minus 27. So you know the flow now. This is half of negative 4. Negative 8 is negative 4, which is negative 4 squared. Completing the square method. So I'm going to write plus 16 here. And the half of this is plus 11. So it's 11 squared, which is plus 121. So this is basically x minus 4 the whole squared plus y plus 11 the whole squared is equal to this is what 121 121 uh, plus 16 so let me do it 121 plus 16 is 137 minus 27 is 110 so this is 110 so 110 is not you can't write that as a third so let me write in the standard form so this is x minus 4 the whole squared plus this is y minus minus 11 the whole squared is equal to square root of 110 the whole squared because I'm writing in the standard form so the center is 4 comma minus 11 and the radius is square root of 110 which is approximately 10 point something so let me get my calculator so this is control enter 10.5 so roughly it is 10.5 so the center is 4 comma minus 11 and the radius is uh, 10.5 in 1 dp. Now here yeah, you can find the x-intercept and y-intercept uh, but that would be lots of calculation.